What's up, everybody? Welcome back to yet another video. This time, I'm excited. We're doing a performance upgrade install. We're getting rid of this piece of crap plastic manifold and upgrading the size of our throttle body. Jesus, the neighbors are wild. I uh, decided to do it today. It's cloudy, overcast, rainy. It's like... 50 degrees. The weather sucks right now. I am so not ready for winter. Anyway, so here's what we're doing. Um, went up to Tucker Speed last week, picked up this beautiful HPI throttle body and manifold. I mean, look at how pristine that has been polished and ported out. So this is the 58 millimeter uh, throttle body. The reason I didn't go with like a 62 or even the 68 is because I'm only running a board out 114. So I don't need anything crazy. You know, I don't need a crazy amount of air. It's three millimeters overstock, but we're not dealing with the piece of crap plastic manifold. We have this beautiful machined billet ported i mean the throttle body is billet aluminum and then we have our ported and polished manifold so i'll show you guys how to tear this down get this new one put in and we'll go Moving my breather, the back plate, or the back mount for the breather. Uh, I'm not going to film that because you should know by now how to remove your own breather. I'm going to be taking the seat off, lifting the tank up just to give me more room to work with right in this area so we can slide the old manifold out and pop the new one in. And then I have some extended reach ball head hex sockets to get those weird angle bolts for the manifold, for the flanges. Also, while my tank's lifted, I'm gonna utilize this time to clean the top of my rocker box covers. Cause those hardly ever, I'm able to hardly ever get the space to get up in there and clean them. So I'm gonna, before we're done and before we put the tank back down, I'm gonna clean the top of the rocker boxes. Let me get this stuff unplugged. It's pretty self-explanatory. Just follow your lines, you know, unplug everything. Um, and then we'll pull this, pull this out and get, get everything loose and pull it out. All right, so as you can see, we have these side by side here. We have the HPI manifold on the right here compared to the stock 55 millimeter on the left, which is just terrible. I mean, it's so restricted compared to this one on the right port polished really nice machining quality from HPI got a lot wider openings compared to this one just plastic garbage the openings on the inside the neck super restricted over time these will start to warp with high heat especially if you do big bore applications if you look at the CNC manifold up next to it, you're not going to have those issues later on when you get up in the higher mileage areas, especially with higher heat output builds. Uh, there really is no comparison, and you're going to notice a huge difference in performance between the two. So all we do is just strip the guts off of the plastic stock one and mount our fuel rail to the newer one to the replacement here is our fuel rail that we took off of the stock goes here onto the new one 
and then our map sensor as well which is our mass airflow sensor so we have everything tore off this is our mass airflow sensor it just goes right back the same way it came out of the other one and just bolts in with the single screw be careful that you don't tear the um, the o-ring on there or the seal and you don't want to put a bunch of pressure when you're tightening this down because you don't want to crack anything you don't want to it's made out of plastic. You don't want to crack that plastic housing for the sensor. Then we're going to get our fuel injectors, the fuel rail mounted in there. Except I'm doing it backwards right now. Don't do this. As you can see, I'm about to realize, oh no, I'm doing this backwards. This isn't right. Oh, yep, there's my realization. That needs to come out and get flipped around. And that's just held in with the two bolts. So you want to just seat that in to where it's in there nice and flush. Make sure those seals are in there. And those screw holes are lined up with the manifold underneath. Just like so. And then we will put our two bolts in on the fuel rail to secure that into the new manifold and this is how it should look when it's done the fuel injectors should be visible and sitting in there flush just like that easy peasy all right so before i said we leave these bolts in those flanges are just going to slide right in those spots make sure just kind of wipe all the crud build up off your intake ports so you get a nice seal so slide this manifold in so it does take some finagling to get it in there it is a tight spot just make sure you're not pinching off any wires or messing up the um, gaskets when you're sliding it into the space. Just kind of take your time. It definitely helps to have another set of hands on the other side of the bike, kind of guiding things in and making sure those flanges are sliding into those bottom bolts. Okay, so like me and Daniel, we were talking a minute ago off camera. I'm gonna, you don't want to tighten this down yet until we have the throttle body back on and then put the plate, the back plate for your breather on and make sure that's sitting flush with your throttle body because if we were to tighten all this down right now there's no way that would be well it might but it'd be a very slim chance that would it would be sitting flush uh your breather with your throttle body so make sure you leave some play in all this before you tighten everything down Old Danny boy makes a good argument. Make sure you put your top flange bolts in before you plug your wiring back in. That way you're not fighting any wires. What a smart guy this guy is. <laughs> you should be getting, if you go with the HPI kit, you should get this O-ring that goes in between the manifold and the throttle body. Just make sure that's seated in there properly because you don't want any air leaks. And now we will take our new hardware, line up our throttle body. Get these bolts in. Okay, we're putting our backing plate on, or mounting bracket, or plate, whatever the hell you want to call it. Got a new gasket on there that came with the HPI kit. Throw that on. Make sure everything's lined up. This is the whole reason why you wait to tighten everything down. So you want to make sure 
This is going to be flush with your throttle body. Check center ones. Solid. All right, to finish this up, we are just going to tighten down or torque down our flange bolts. There's four of them, one on top of each side, and then on the other side of the bike on the bottom. I don't know if there's a torque spec, but I'm just going to tighten it until it's tight. And metal against metal you can only go so tight. Mm -hmm. And then we'll get our horn put back on, put the tank back on, put our fuel line back in the tank, and then I'll wrap it up. Man, look how good that thing looks on there. It's too bad we'll never see it. We're also going to want to make sure we get all of this stuff cleaned off. You don't want any of that sucking into your motor. Any of that lint or any of that other crap that's on there. Give this a nice wipe down. The HPI. Good work. It's a beautiful part you guys have put together. All right, moment of truth. Cross your fingers, there's no leaks.
And that, my friends, is the HPI install. Everybody say thanks to Daniel for his help. <laughs> He's a trader. He's selling his road glide. Let's buy it. Get him up. After he <laughs> talked to me in for three years to buy one. And four months after I do, he puts his up for sale. If you want to buy his, 30 grand. It's probably a $50,000 bike. Once you factor in the cost of a bike, parts, labor, all that jazz. What do you got in it? Uh, SNS 128. 128, Woods 408. Woods 408 cam, SNS oil pump and plate. Uh, you've had the bottom flywheel worked on. Is it Black Horse? Everything. Dark yeah, Horse? Dark Horse. Dark Horse flywheel. Dark Com, Recluse Clutch, Recluse Basket, Baker Primary Adjuster. She built Tell the front and rear. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully, this was of some help. All right, guys, so there you go. HPI throttle body installed. Got the old piece of junk plastic one out. Shout out to Tucker Speed. Thank you for um, having that 58 mil available to me. I mean, we've got to support our local shops. Uh, but still, shout out to them for having something so high demand available to me. I really appreciate that. But yeah, if you guys need any parts, um, hit up Tucker Speed. They're going to have it. And if they don't, give them a call. They can order it for you. I guarantee it. Shout out to them big time for coming through with the HPI 58 millimeter throttle body and manifold for me. Uh, I saw they had one available. I phoned them. I'm like, yo, can you put one aside or can you put it aside and I'll be up there to pick it up. They're like, yeah, bro, no problem. Come up and grab it whenever. Because um, usually with the HPI stuff, you have to send in your throttle body and then it gets sent out to HPI and then HPI swaps out the internals. It's usually like a, anywhere from a one to two week turnaround time. So you gotta wait for it, uh, for them to swap your internals out and then send you back the, um, the machined version. I mean, it's a beautiful piece and it performs really, really well. So, I mean, waiting for it or not, it's, it's worth it. But the fact that they had one available, they made it available to me, I love it. Thank you guys um, for everything you guys do not just for me, but for our community. Tucker Speed is heavily involved uh, in our community and they're just a solid shop, man. And, and I'm glad to be an affiliate um, with them. There's very few shops in this state that I would want to uh, work with. And they're definitely at the top of that list. So rock on you guys, thank you again. Um, we'll have some videos coming up here in a couple weeks from Tucker Speed doing um, the cam chest swap. Taking out the Screaming Eagle 498 high lift cam and putting in the Wood Performance 22 XZ low torque cam. Um, and then we're doing the oil pump and plate and all the goodies, the new push rods. And trust me, you're gonna wanna check that video out. And you'll be able to meet the dudes at Tucker. So again, that's tuckerspeed.com for any of your parts needs performance doesn't matter what it is o-rings all the way down to exhaust full system exhaust they're gonna have it so hit them up if this video helped you do me a favor just hit the subscribe button that would help us out even if this helped one person it was worth it so much love guys uh yeah take care of yourselves take care of each other until next time peace out Bye.